Okay, so I know if you've been watching the last video, you'll know that I had to mix the intros with this one and that one. I've only just done the other one for the previous video. But the whole purpose of today is that I've been messing about with a few new patterns. And I've got this new pattern. Dying to give it a go. Just get them out in the water, give them a go. If you think they need tweaking, take them on, get them back on the vice, tweak them slightly. But I have tied it up a bit different to what I normally tie. Uh, so I'm going to see how it performs in the water. And then I've also got my olive nymph, pearly olive nymph on the dropper. Uh, that has already proved itself it's a good pattern, but that is more for any resident fish that might be around, might fancy that. This, as the boys are saying, this thing there is mainly, this thing is mainly a stocky bashing fly, they say. What I've done is just kinked it up. The sunshine out there is a bit bright. Uh, it's off and on, it's a bit cloudy, but it is quite bright and it's flat water. Putting that on just dulls that tippet a little bit, but it, it's still going to be visible to the fish, but not as much. The water has been stocked five days or so ago, so I'm going to get straight out there, get straight into it. So I'll catch you out on the water. I don't know how much you missed of that. Um, I thought I was on record. I think I was on photo and mask him off. Uh, so that's good. Because at least I know he didn't take it right down. That first fish took that fly right down. Oh. Missed that one. Not that deep. I'm going to let it go down a little deeper this time. Let's see what happens. Just tighten up the line as it goes down, just in case you get a pick up as it's dropping. So all I'm doing then is a, just a slow figure of eight as it's dropping. And then... Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I couldn't keep in touch with that one. Yeah, he was on, he was on. It was, it was as good as there. I don't know why I didn't hook up with him. Well, and that, that, well, I don't know if you've seen on the surface up there, then that looked a damn good fish. There has been a few good fish coming out of here just recently. I just looked in the box there. I haven't been counting down. There's no point in me counting down. My memory's terrible. I keep forgetting after the moment as to what I did count down. And I'm normally always varying it anyway. And I don't think if I'm a little bit out on the count that it's going to make that much of a difference. There then. And again, keep hold of him. I'm walking back because so, I know I'm not going to get a good line strike in. And I'm walking backwards to help set the hook. Again, that's hard to get him up. And I'm not being soft. Whoa. That's a nice plumpy fish again. What they do is a good stock. Tail. That's good. He's not swallowed it. Straight out. Cracking fish. Again, look at that tail. Yeah. And he's off. Absolutely brilliant.
tell you what, the wind on this side is unbelievable. It's quite a chilly wind as well. There's a fish moving now. Well windy over this side. Uh, let's just start a bit higher. Very my retreat. Keeping the cast a bit short at the start. Let it drop a bit more. I think there's something just moved out by there again. That's nearer the top. Casting into that wind, even though it's not that strong, is surprising. But what you'll find, I think, is if you allow more line to go out when you're against this wind, there's more energy in there, and you'll find that casting against that wind a bit easier. Shorter lines, I struggle. Over this side, that won't really line now. I can't see nothing out there, it's such a glare on the water. Sort of movement in towards the margins there. Could be a brown. Just pulling a couple more yards off or meters off as I go. And let it drop a lot more. And say steady, steady figure of eight, just to keep contact with that fly. And you know if you've got that tension on that line by keeping that steady figure of eight, that fly's gonna be swimming quite nicely as it drops mm, struggling this side come on fishy a lot slower, a bit deeper, and a steady figure of eight. But that did take about, I must have had about 15 casts before this fish picked me up. Scissors. Again, good fish, but smaller. Off he go. Off he goes. Do the same again. <clears throat> Just let it go down a bit and steady slow. The take was quite gentle actually, compared to the other takes. It just felt the weight on the line. It wasn't like a knock, it just got heavy. It almost felt like you were on the bottom. Again, oh, I missed that one. That was more of a knock. It's funny that they're not coming up for it, mind. That you've got to go down to them. I'm not sure if that was a knock or the bottom then. It could have been a knock, so I've not touched anything else since. Had that one this time on a steady figure of eight. Flies out. Lost that one. Got that one. Let's 
específico. Just lost another one just then. I wasn't as deep, but it was certainly fast a figure of eight coming through. It hit it quite solidly, but didn't hold. Generally, when you're fishing and you're on the stockies, it's quite common that you're going to pick a lot of them up in the same sort of areas. You're not having to move much. You can be in one place for quite a long time. Uh, they'd be moving about in here a good bit. It does make it enjoyable. It's a lot easier than fishing for them resident fish. Resident fish, you, you know, obviously a lot trickier to spread out. You might get one or two here, and if you're lucky, get another one or two, then another somewhere else. Keep checking, keep fanning around, keep moving different water, bits of water. You know, you don't want to be in the same spot all the time because obviously you will eventually spook the fish after a while with line flash. And obviously, being flat water, you're going to disturb the water a good bit. It's, Another good point with going with the slower intermediate that you can eliminate that surface wake so you're not spooking them as much. Yeah. That took quite aggressively, mind. Uh, Oh, that was one good run. Wow. Come on, fishy. Come on. <laughs> I don't know if it's happening. Every time I go to net the fish, the camera goes in the opposite direction. It's because I'm stretching so far with my arm. Um, oh my God. Look at that. Can you see? It's on the dropper. Oh, dead chuffed with that one. But yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, made up. Absolutely made up with that one. Thank you very much, fish. Again, that's a... They are actually really good stock when they come from Exmoor. Apparently, make really good eating. That hit it so damn hard. It's on the drop it again. That's nice. Well, that's so strange. Uh, one straight after the other on the dropper. It's turning out to be a pretty good combination, this uh, olive nymph and the black, whatever you want to call it, on the end. And this one now, this I thought, I thought it was on the bottom, I was going to lift her off the bottom. Ooh, now he's woke up. Yeah. Unbelievable. That's a good fish. That's a nice heavy fish, that. Uh, definitely one of the bigger ones. Chunky. See, see the 
for my hand, the dirt on that thing. That is a cracking fish. So this new pattern seems to be doing quite well, but it's hard to judge because there's a lot of stockfish in here. And as we know, a lot of patterns will pull stockfish. So the longer the stockfish are in there, the more difficult they become to catch. Now this water won't get stocked now, probably for another, possibly three weeks, depending on how many people come and fish here. If a good amount of fish come out of the water, then obviously more stock can go in. So this pattern is definitely going to get a good test over the next few weeks. But I've actually fished, I think, on another five sessions since this video. And each time I've put this pattern on. If you want to find out how good this pattern is, just make sure that you see the next video. Look at this. Look at the size of that thing. He is big. He big. I was actually stripping in to re go to recast. I was in a world of my own, watching watching the bloody birds and the ducks. We'll see on draw um, point fly again. Oh, just off that edge again. What I'll do is, um, as they seem to be there, I'm going to put it up to the margins and follow that line. What it is, is um, the water, if you look in there, it drops off, it slowly goes in that direction, and then it drops off a little bit, and it's just over that edge where it seems to be getting picked up a bit. Yeah, that's it. So what I'm doing there is fishing it along that channel as opposed to across it and keeping the fly in that zone for longer now. Uh, and obviously that seemed to work. We'll find out in a bit and see if I get lucky with another one. But that's good. Uh, was it? It's on that point fly again. I don't know why they don't like my dropper. That's that's a nice dropper, that is. That's a stocky. Okay, when you normally get the residents in here, they they really do scrap. Sometimes your arm lake. Could you hear the line ping in them? the tension that's on it. Get the net. Get him in. Come on, fish. Yeah, it's a definite stocky. This is the size they're putting them in. That's under the two pound, but not by far. Oh, flies out. Let me let him go. Like a bullet. I'm sure that'll sort itself out in the water. Uh, what I want to do here is while I'm at it, I'll show you this now. Uh, what I'll do is put my underwater camera on, see what the fly's like in the water. Um, 
had a discussion about this recently with another channel. Okay, I'm going to butt in here a bit because on the day I didn't really explain this part very well. Now this all comes about and it was about three weeks or so ago when I was watching a channel on YouTube and they were demonstrating tying a pattern. And towards the end they had the pattern in the vise and they took it from the vise. I presume they were dunking it in a bowl of water and put it back in the vise and then telling everybody that this is how streamlined the pattern is whilst it's in the water. Now this isn't entirely true. A pattern when it's in the water which is neutral density is as you tie it. You take it out of the water and yes it's going to look like this. And that's mainly because it's laden with the weight of the water. But it is definitely not like that in the water. So obviously I put a comment in and explained this and the reply I had well, I won't tell you it in detail, but it was just unbelievable. Um, but basically what I want to do is put this right, because uh, this channel is quite a reasonable sized channel and they post regular. And they're telling everybody that the pattern in the water looks like so, but it isn't actually. And this is why I'm doing this, so that you can see for yourselves that in the water, neutral density, as I say, and the pattern is as when you tie it. But the main point about this is for you guys who are learning tying flies is do not make this mistake. Nothing like it. In the water, neutral density, it's as you tie it. So if this person is uh, watching this, I hope you get it now. Oh, hang on, I'm going the wrong way. I'm meant to be going down that margin. Oh, I had another touch then. I did. Right, another fish. Ooh, I tell you what, the way that boiled, it looked beefy didn't it doesn't feel any bigger i think it's just the way that it broke the water we're going some now mind okay well i i think i'm gonna call it a day uh i don't want to go hammering hell out of them i want everybody else to come up here and i'm gonna go pricking all the stockies but i've had a really good time of it and as i say it's been several weeks now since we haven't had any stockies in it's nice to get them in uh, nice to have a bit of easy fishing for a change although you know you don't learn as much about the pattern but i can certainly see they like this and not the dropper um but i've enjoyed it and i hope you guys enjoyed it too uh, it has been a bit different, as I say, the Wollaston, I was really looking forward to editing and doing that because that was really good footage. But, yeah, it's hopefully it works out good. We'll soon find out when I get home and edit. But as I say, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, send us a comment. Tell us what you think about the fly under the water.